does it say AFC, AFC, one, two, three, AFC, what does that mean? Autofocus. One, are we recording? One, two, yes. <laughs> it started without me. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be my top 10 products for spring. Spring is finally here. The lawn is back to life. It died there for a while. It needed some resuscitation. It's back. The flowers are blooming. There are lambs in the fields. What a time to be alive. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have 10 products to share with you. And the first one is a fragrance, a fragrance that I just feel epitomizes spring and just this time of year and the weather and everything about it and it is Parfum de Mali's Valea. I mean even this bottle, it's so beautiful and it says spring to me. I don't know why the crystal, the white, the very clean lines, it looks very fresh and it, it smells very fresh as well. It gives me fresh vibes. You know, spring here is not super hot. We do get a lot of beautiful sunny weather with gorgeous fluffy white clouds in the sky, but it's not so hot that you have to really adjust the fragrances you're wearing or adjust the makeup that you're wearing because really it's not, it's too mild to need to do that. But I do feel like some of that warm weather is creeping in and fragrances that are very warm, spicy, very rich, very heady, can become just a little too much in the spring months, especially if you're working in an office, close confines, that sort of thing. Vallea is a perfect year round fragrance. I feel like you can wear it any time of year, but it's especially suited to spring and summer. It's very fresh, it's very light. It has a fruity floral kind of top and middle to the fragrance journey, but because it has that musky, base, it still feels a little cozy, a little warming, a little bit of, you know, maybe you still need a cardi on if you're going outside. I'm still wearing a jumper on the school run. So it's not warm, it's not baking. I still want a little bit of a warmth to my fragrances. This is just absolutely perfect. Effect. Moving on to the makeups. This primer from Dior, I feel like this is going to be absolutely perfect for the warmer months, for spring as we go into summer. This is the Forever Glow Veil and it just feels so hydrating and fresh and light on the skin. I think as we move into spring and summer, the glow just takes off for me. Like I want to glow year round don't get me wrong. But in the spring and summer months, I want everything glowy, glowy cheeks, glowy base, glowy life, glowy hair, glowy nails. I don't know, everything, just whatever is possible to glow. I want it, okay? And this just gives all of my foundations a bit more of a glow and a light and a life to them, but it just feels so nice and lightweight and hydrating and nourishing on the skin. I think if you have dry skin, <gasps> this is gonna be a treat for you, okay? Let me tell you. And when it comes to foundation, I mean, I feel like I mentioned this, any kind of favorites, especially when it comes to spring and summer, this foundation is, is gonna be in there. And I can only apologize if you're sick to death of me ramming it down your throat aggressively. I can only apologize. It's the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation. The foundation I have on today, I just can't get enough and I'm so sorry about it. But I will say, at least if you're gonna pay this price for a foundation, it should be great and you should love it for years to come. So at least we know that is true when it comes to me. This is like my favorite Holy Grail foundation ever, every day of the week, every day of the year, in fact. But I feel like, again, it's especially suitable for spring. It's so lightweight and fresh and glowy and in a very natural way. It's not fussy. You don't have to worry about setting it. It's not so shiny or get shiny throughout the day so that, you know, you need to worry about blotting or you need to worry about powdering it. It wears gorgeously, but it's so lightweight and natural and just sits very flawlessly on the skin and gives you a fresh, glowy, spring ready face. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody but me, but I just love it. It's very 
unproblematic for me, you know, it's just very easy going light, doesn't bother me, doesn't ever disturb anything else, everything looks beautiful with this foundation, it also has SPF 50 in it, and although I would never rely solely on my foundation to provide my SPF, that's a big bonus wallop of SPF just right there for you, so you know, more is more when it comes to SPF. It can't hurt, can it? Unless you're taking a flash photo, in which case it, it will hurt. It will give you a ghost face. So you've been warned. Now, I don't know that I've ever included a concealer in these sort of seasonal favourites videos before, because I guess like, how does a concealer feel seasonal? I don't know, but I was drawn to include this one in this video and I just went with it. I went with my gut. And this is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer one of my absolute favourite, if not possibly my favourite of all time. The reason why this felt appropriate to include for me is because it's just a little lighter and more hydrating and has a slight bit more luminosity to it than the other concealers that I love, that are all very much like a sort of soft matte stay put budge proof concealer this is a little different it's a little more hydrating a little more lightweight it feels a little fresher and that just is what i want to reach for in as the temperatures warm up as the weather improves as the sun comes out this is kind of what i'm drawn to something a bit lighter lighter weight but still has the coverage that i need because i don't know about you but my dark circles don't just like vanish in the spring and summer i don't start going oh i don't need concealer anymore they're still fully there okay just hanging out year round but I do want something that feels lighter more hydrated and just is like nice and kind and nourishing to my under eye area as the weather heats up as does you know my my bod <laughs> so you know any kind of cooling sensation is is a plus and this is a lovely fresh hydrating cooling lightweight all of the good juicy <laughs> words under your eyes this has taken a turn already. So next up, let's talk about an eyeshadow palette, one that I was very drawn to include in this video and the eyeshadow palette I have on my peepers today. And it is the Suku number 124 from their spring collection. This is the green vibe palette, <laughs> the palette I have on my eyeballs, as I said today. I have done a look with this and a get ready with me already if you want to see me using this on the eyes. It's just so pretty. I feel like sometimes greens can feel autumnal, but I think this is like the perfect crossover palette just because the greens, are, they're very like fresh and as well, this sort of blue, it's almost an aquatic vibe to the tone and the greens are very fresh and sort of limey citrusy vibes and it's just so pretty again it's very light and easy going on the eye and for you know a pretty colorful palette it gives you a very wearable fresh pretty look to the eye and I absolutely love it I find it you know you can just literally use this shadow on the lid and it's so pretty and understated and like I said I think it feels a bit citrusy a bit fresh a bit aquatic and it gives me the layer vibes it gives me like these two like a perfect little concoction a little mixture to make me feel a bit fresh a bit spring maybe there are some freshly cut lawn vibes about this quad. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with lawns today, but we'll go with it. Next up, I want to talk about a highlighter. And again, I hear you cry, Charlotte, what are you on about? A highlighter is not seasonal, but I feel like this one is a little bit. It's just the warmth to it. It's the highlighter again that I have on today. I feel like it's that glowy, healthy skin that just looks like you came from a facial and there's no glitter and shimmer. It's just glow and luminosity, but it has that sort of peachy, warm tone to it that again, with the warm weather and maybe you pick up a bit of a tan, a bit of color to your skin as we go into May almost now this is really just suiting my skin tone more and more as I pick up color by the way I literally looked at my ring the other day I haven't even seen the sun barely yet and I've already got I don't know if you'll see it on camera but I, I'm not swearing at you I promise but I've already got like quite a solid line 
there. My skin is definitely already picking up color in this weather and I just think this is going to be more and more perfect as I move into my summer skin tone because it is that warmth. It has that warm color to it and it's just so beautiful and it really makes me feel like springy, you know? Don't fight it, just go with it. Don't overthink it, you know? By the way, I realized I just did the worst swatches ever of that Suku eyeshadow palette. I feel like the swatches were like not swatching. They were not there. I did a much too light swatch and it is a very light, soft, subtle palette, but I don't think it's quite as soft, subtle and light as my swatches were suggesting. I literally did too, too subtle of a swatching there. This is more so representative of the palette. A very pretty, yes, light, yes, softer, not not kind of overwhelming with the impact. Light, pretty, soft, gentle, but yet you can actually see it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Such a professional. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Now, one of the most springy products for me is blush. I mean, obviously I like blush all year round. Every day of the week, blush is going on my face. If I'm doing makeup, blush is going on there. Even if I start off thinking I won't do blush today, it still somehow works its way onto my cheeks. And I don't know how that happens, but it does, okay? Blush for me is like, <laughs> it's a non-skipper. Can't skip it, can't do without it. It's just, I live for it. But in spring and summer, blush just, it, it becomes the look to me, it takes over. I go for very sort of neutral, softer, natural looking blushes in the sort of autumn, winter months. Spring and summer, I feel like the blush is the, becomes the focus of my makeup look a lot of the time. And one of my favorites, the blush I have on today, NARS Tempted, get out of town okay it's just so perfect look at her it's the perfect kind of is she peach is she orange is she a bit tan we don't know it's just the perfect balance of a shade and it's so glowy it's so glowy i live for it and i feel like this just is it for me. Spring, summer in a blush, especially that stunning, very smooth, but very shiny, glowy finish. I live for it. But the tone, it's just so perfect. It is peachy, but it has almost a sort of orange to it as well. And it, it just, it's just glorious. It's glorious. If you don't own this blush and this is your kind of color, what, what have you been doing with your life? Where have you been? Why? Why don't you? I'm, I'm confused. I love it. It's just so flattering and pretty and beautiful. And yes, it is a peachy, warm toned blush, but I feel like it's just not too much. Like today, obviously I'm rocking some green on my eyes and it's not fighting it. It's not saying, whoa, whoa, this is a peach look. Where are you going green? It's not saying that. It's just saying I'm here. I'm peaching. I'm hanging out. I'm peachy, but it's cool. We can, we can hang out together. That's what I feel this blush is saying to me. Um, I think I need to see a doctor. <laughs> Something is wrong up there. Now, another blush that I hesitated to include because it might be slightly tricky to get hold of if you don't already have it, but this is the Chanel Fantasy blush that everybody and their mother lost their minds over when it first came out. People were messaging me from America, left, right and centre. How do I get this blush? I need this blush. When's it coming? Is it coming? I believe now it has arrived in the US and everybody can calm down. But I don't know, it's in and out of stock. Every time I go on the Chanel website, I notice it's back in stock and then it's sold out again. It's back in stock, it's sold out again. So I will say if at the moment at which you're watching this video, it's out of stock, I think it will be back. I think they're I think they're teasing us. I think they're playing with us. Someone at Chanel is having a laugh at our expense and just toying with our emotions. But this blush, again, I don't even like pink blushes. This is probably the first pink blush, like real pink blush that I've ever like wanted to own. It's just so gorgeous. I've made a complete mess. Like the, it's not so aesthetically pleasing anymore, mine, because I have used this quite a bit. It's just so pretty. You can see the difference there. I think I had a lot of people asking me, about these two and they aren't the same. I think you can see them side by side. They're very different. You have um, NARS Tempted here and then the Chanel Fantasy blush here. NARS Tempted, very much a peachy blush. Chanel, very much a pink blush. But what they do have in common is that stunning, glowy finish 
so gorgeous, so pretty, so beautiful. Whether you're feeling like a pink person today or you're feeling like a peachy person, between these two, that's like the ultimate blush for spring duo right there. I don't think it gets any better than this. It's just they're both so pretty and light and flattering and never too much, but they're giving you blush. They're giving you some colour. They're giving you glowy cheeks and I am here for them. I'm here for it. And finally, the next category that I feel like really epitomizes spring and really regardless of the season, I feel like this makeup category, it changes your look to like really suit your mood, the occasion, the event that you're going to your day and just how you're feeling. And that is lip products. The lip I have on today, as you may have already guessed, is Dior's Mimi Rose. I just can't get enough of her. She's so pretty. It's so pretty. And although it has, you know, very much it's not a nude, but it's just a very wearable shade. And it's what's so special about this formula is it's just so buildable and light and it just feels so nice and hydrating the high shine of these lipsticks it just I love it I love a sort of glossier I mean I love a glossier shinier lip all year round but I feel like I especially love it in the spring and summer because again it just feels very fresh and I don't know I don't know light fresh wearable comfortable I'm not sure my lips you know they get drier in the summer I feel like winter a lot of people's lips suffer mine suffer in summer I don't know why but I feel like I want some comfort i want my lips to feel hydrated and look hydrated and the finish of these whether or not you like this shade or you like another shade this i think is still my favorite color from mimi rose i have others that i prefer as like as far as a nude but mimi rose in spring it's just that hint of pretty peachy pink it's so soft and wearable it's just absolutely perfect another lipstick that i also feel ticks all of these boxes and this is je ne sais quoi from lisa eldridge again all of the good things about lisa's formula they definitely have a bit more opacity to them as you can see there the difference in opacity is very clear you know lisa's again very buildable can use it very sheerly but also builds up a lot more opaque than the dior addicts and slightly less shiny i think you know lisa's are probably more of a satin and the dior dior definitely has more of a glossy finish je ne sais quoi again should i put her on so you can actually see her on the lips why not you know again it's such a pretty fairly bright but in a very wearable way definitely a lot more pigment to it than Mimi Rose definitely a bit brighter more color but still in a pretty and wearable and feminine way and it's not really harsh and it doesn't feel too much you know to go to the office or to go on the school run wearing this lip it's still very wearable it still has that beautiful soft but juicy finish to it not quite as glossy as the Dior Addict I think these wear better than the Dior Addicts. Definitely not a long wearing lipstick, but it has that gorgeous glossy finish. Lisa is slightly less glossy, wears a bit better in my opinion, and definitely has more pigmentation. So it really depends what you want. But between these two, I feel like summer is covered. You know, you've got that sort of more really orange, like sort of almost burnt peachy orange shade with lots of pigment, lots of impact, and then a really soft, pretty coral pink from Mimi Rose. It's just like something for everybody or something for me. Okay, me and my mood. I mean, this is my favorites after all, okay? <sighs> And I mean, these are two of my favorite lipsticks and certainly like my two favorite formulas when it comes to a shiny lipstick. So comfortable, so pretty. And these are just like what I reach for. You know, as soon as I see the first flower blooming in the garden, I just run to my drawer and whack these straight on. <laughs> Kind of. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my top 10 products for spring. Please let me know what your favorite products are for spring. Do you really change up your makeup? I don't really. I still kind of wear what I want, but I definitely feel like, especially when it comes to cheeks and lips, I move into like peachy town and I just live there 
until like at least September. So yeah, I definitely change up my fragrances. I will say I move to lighter, fresher scents rather than really dark, warm spices that I love in autumn and winter. What do you guys do? Do you change things up or you just kind of stick to what you love year round? Please let me know in the comments section down below, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.